All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations to the whole for Lake out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the whole for Lake, the believers, the listeners. Whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shim Al Shai? And what I want to get into today, all right, just dealing with, all right, how we're coming into a time where Yahweh Shai is about to bring war, all right, to these Edomites, man, and to all these heathens. You see, this is the time that we are in. See, there's an actual war, all right, that's coming to this realm from a whole nother realm, which is the spirit world, and it's going to be led by Yahweh Shai. And the scriptures speak about, you know, how he's going to let off that battle cry, you know, before he invades and conquers, all right, this wicked empire and destroys this beast system, man. You know, this is what this thing is leading up to. See, <laughs> Esau got bigger problems, you know, than us teaching the Bible, you know. <laughs> he has some very serious problems that's on the way. And, and what we're doing, teaching, is leading into it, man, you know, because we're growing the minds of the elect. You know, as we're being groomed for what, man, the salvation to come. Now, I want to start off from the um, book of Psalms 47, all right, and start at verse 5. It says, The Most High has gone up with a shout, the Lord Yahweh, by Shemuel Shai, with the sound of a trumpet. Now, how is this going to happen? This is going to be Yahweh Shai, and that shout is going to be that battle cry, all right? And let's get it. Let's get the prophecy to prove it. All right, he's gonna pay, he's gonna come with that battle cry before he comes to conquer. Let me go to um Isaiah forty-two. All right, Isaiah forty-two and thirteen. It says the Lord shall go forth as a mighty man; he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yell, roar; he shall prevail. All right. Against his enemies. You see that? So, Yahweh Shai is coming to make war. And he's going to prevail. And let's prove it. Alright? When you get Revelation 19. And say he's going to go forth like a mighty man. You see, Yahweh Shai is coming with great power. You know? And he's going to run through the militaries of the heathen. Beginning with Esau Edom. Now, when you get um, Revelation 19. I want to get to the point in verse 11. It says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon them, and that's Yahweh Shai, and that white horse is their chariot, all right, the father chariot, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. So Yahweh Shai is coming to bring forth war and righteousness, man. You see? And you're going to hear that with that war cry, all right, before he gets busy, man. As the scriptures say. Now, let's get another one in Revelation, the 12th chapter. It says he was going to prevail. All right, there's the book of Revelation, chapter 12, all right, verse 7. And there was war in heaven. You see that? War. <laughs> you see that? All right, there's an actual war coming to this realm, man. You see, our power, the Heavenly Father, is sending his son, Yahweh Shai, to wage war on this place, man. And that's what got Esau buckled. You know? And he not going to be able to deal no type of way, man. But there's a war coming to this wicked realm, man. This wicked society. Alright? That's why we tell our people repent, man. It's time to humble down and repent, man. This is actually going to happen, man. <laughs> you see? And it says, and there was a war in heaven, which is talking about the Shemayim, alright? In the atmosphere. In the sky. Alright? And who is going to be between it says, Michael and his angels, I know which Michael is an archangel under Yahweh Shai, all right, which um, uh, um, uh, will be, you know, on the forefront, all right, of this war, man, you know, under Yahweh Shai. And it says, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought his angels, you know, and that's Esau, Edom, and his military, his fighter jets, and his, uh, uh, his uh, uh helicopters and you know any military all right you know his drones any military 
all right, uh, aircraft that he has, man. Those are likened to his angel, which is a uh, uh, angel goes into what a messenger. You see, and the message that Esau delivers with his angels is what destruction, man. You know, so you how was shot, all right, Michael, the archangel, and the rest of the angels. They're coming to meet that force. All right, it's gonna be a war, and it says, and prevail not. Neither was there place found any more in heaven. It says they prevail not in their place of found any more in heaven, which is rulership. Because if you were a, a ruling, all right, nation, but you lose a war, all right, to another to another nation, you're not a rulership anymore. All right, you go straight into captivity. You see, this is gonna be an ancient world style takeover, man. All right, and then you go back into it, Isaiah 42 and 4 and 13 again. The Lord Yahweh Bashim al shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry. Yeah. It says, um, it says, like a man of war, he shall cry, yeah, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. And what I want to do real quick, I want to get this article. Alright, because he's gonna prevail against his enemies. And who are the enemies? The dragon and his angels, Esau, Edom, this beast system. Alright. Beginning with America, NATO, EU, led, you know, because they're going to be on the forefront. They got the most, you know, military, you know, capability out of all these heathens. So they're going to be on the forefront. And that's who your house shot going to deal with first, man. You know, but he's going to dust all these heathens, man. Now, this is on um, Wikipedia, Wikipedia, and it goes into Battle Cry. It says a Battle Cry is a yell chant taken up in battle, usually by members of the same combatant group battle cries are not necessarily articulate it says although they often aim to invoke um patriotic or religious sentiment their purpose is a combination of arousing aggression all right and each spirit the corpse on one side all right causing intimidation on the hostile side battle cries are a universal form of display behavior, all right, i.e. a threat display aiming at a competitive advantage, ideally by overstating one's own aggressive potential to a point where the enemy prefers to avoid confrontation altogether and it says and opts to flee in order to overstate one's potential for aggression. Battle cries need to be as loud as possible and have historically often amplified by acoustic devices such as horns. You see that? Drums, all right, uh, conchies, uh, cornixes, bagpipes, all right, and it says uh, bugles, you know, it says, and also other martial instruments, man. I see, we're pretty much sounding the trumpet, but then you're going to hear that actual that trumpet and that battle cry man and your house shot gonna come to war <laughs> you see and you can imagine how aroused we gonna be when we hear that that battle cry man from our great king your house shot man but that's what's coming you know to this realm you know and that's why it said the battle cry was meant to intimidate you know and pretty much try to you know get the uh opposing enemy not to fight and see, that's how you know that that battle cry going to be so intimidating. And then when they see all right, their force and their power, you have a shot coming, we're going to be like, damn, we through. But what the scriptures say? This is um, um, 2nd Edges 13 and 8. And it says, And after this I beheld, and lo, they which were gathered together to subdue him, were sore afraid. You see that battle cry gonna have these people shoot. That power you how was I coming with? They gonna have they gonna have Esau and all these heathen nations shoot. They were so afraid. It says, and yet there's fight. You ain't gonna put the spirit on them to fight, man, because he wanna showcase his power. You know? <laughs> hey, the scripture says you how shot has all power. And he wanna showcase it, man. You know Jake wanna show. Jake wanna stunt. Alright? Jake wanna let you know that he that he has all dominance over you, man. You see? And that's what Yahweh Shah coming to do is dominate the enemy. Now reading on Isaiah 42 and 14, 
It says, I have long time holding my peace. All right, he's been at the right hand just waiting for this time, man. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once, man. Yahweh Shah is coming to destroy and devour at once, man. You know, this is going to be light work. You know, Esau, Edom never had a chance. Yahweh Shah is coming to wage war and righteousness, all right? And set up what? The throne of David and the earth, man. And we pray that we be found worthy to be joint heirs of this kingdom when Yahweh Bashim Shah conquers it, man. All right? And let's get it. You know? We can end it here. This is um Revelation eleven and fourteen it says the second war was passed, which is the second world's war, and behold the third war cometh quickly, and the seven angels sounded, and there was great voices in heaven. Yes, the third war is coming quickly. And then it said the seven angels sounded, you see, going back to the instruments. And there was voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his anointed, and he shall reign forever and ever, man. So this is what this thing is leading up to, man. So we push for Esau to make, you know, more of uh, his mandates, you know, to push more of his gender and propaganda to come down with great wrath. Do what he got to do because this is what it's leading up to. See, this is the end game. This is what he going to have to deal with when he get through, you know, throwing his tension tantrum in the earth. This is what he going to have to deal with, man. All right? So, Lord will, you brothers and you few sisters will edify it. Till next time, I say Shalom. Quam Yashallah, a Bible ball, DTA soon.